Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, today I'm going to continue along the path of what are good webcams. There's been a lot of questions on some of my previous videos that has led me to deciding to do this particular one. And what I'm going to specifically show you is how to use the Acaso camera, which I reviewed separately, this little guy right here, as a webcam. And it has the ability to directly connect to a USB and act as a camera. So I'm going to demonstrate how that works. I had to get a larger cable in order to do that. The one that comes with it is a little too small. But these are relatively available. A mini USB to a standard full-size USB-A connector works fine. And you, you may have some of those lying around just like I have. I've had several of them lying around at different lengths for different things I bought over the years. So I'm going to hook those up. I'm going to show you in OBS the comparison between this camera as a webcam and my Sony ZV-1 as a webcam. Now I'm going to connect the Sony, it's going to sort of be cheating. It's going to be connected through HDMI through my Elgato 4K60. So it's going to be the highest possible thing you can imagine that could come out of this and get into my computer. But I wanted to show you what the comparison is between the two, and I think you might be a little bit surprised. Anyway, for use as a webcam, that is. So without further ado, let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay, now to properly use the Acaso as a webcam, you're going to need to make a couple of changes in its configuration. So if you go into Setup and then scroll over to General Setup, select that with the blue. We go down to the first one we have to change is the angle. I, I recommend this. Normally it's on wide or super wide. You could also go narrow. I would recommend medium is the best way to go with this. So we'll select that. You could try the, the narrow as well. You may like that. I don't, but you may, you may. Then we go to the USB screen. Just a little bit further down. There we go. Click on USB. Now by default it's set to storage. Right? So you can select that, but you've got to select for the purposes of a webcam as PC camera. And then hit select. And now you're set. Now you can get out of the, uh, the settings. And the camera is now set up to be used as a webcam. When we turn it back on again, when we turn it off. When we turn it back on again, it'll come up as a webcam if you have it connected to the computer. And then whatever you happen to be looking at with the camera will show up on the webcam. Now, since I bought the entire Acaso kit that has all of the action camera accessories to it, I decided to take some of those accessories and make a little mount from the side of my monitor. So what I did it here is I added in the one that's for a bar. If you wanted to wrap it around like a handlebar or something, and I just left one end opened, and I tightened up the other end, and then I used a swivel attachment right below that to connect to the camera. So now I can adjust that camera any way I'd like. Of course, it does have a tripod mount on it. So if you happen to have a little hand grip or a mini tripod like this one here, like this uh, Ziadio that I reviewed in a previous video, you could just take it and attach it quite easily and set it up in this fashion as well. Or a regular tripod would be just as fine also. So there's a lot of options to using this and having it connect in any way you'd like. Okay, here's how they look together on one screen. 
The top one, as you can see there, is the Sony ZV-1 going through the Elgato 4K60. So we know that's going at 60 frames per second. And the bottom one is the Acaso V50. It's not bad, is it? It looks pretty close. Obviously, you see some distortion in the lines, even though we've set it to correct for distortion on the Acaso. It is a sports camera, after all. And also, even though we've set it for medium angle, it still looks pretty wide. Whereas in the case of the Sony, I can actually zoom in and out very easily with that one, right? I can come in, I can zoom in, zoom out even further. So that's the advantage of having a real camera that can be adjusted you know, quite easily. So anyway, that's how they look together. Uh, not bad at all, I think, in terms of the Acaso, that is, it being used as a webcam. The actual picture of my face is extremely clear and extremely sharp. So I have no complaints about that at all. Okay, now here's a view of just what the ZV-1 is showing full screen. As you can see, the quality as I normally get with the ZV-1, high end. Now let me switch it over to the other scene, which is just the Acaso. Well, on this one, you can see it's a little bit wider angle. There's a little bit of distortion in it, but not a lot over on the right hand side where my, my chest is and over on the left hand side. It's usually the extremes that get the distortion. But in the middle, it looks pretty good. So anyway, just wanted to have you see both of these side by side. Well, what'd you think? I think this little guy did pretty good, don't you? It's actually cheaper than if you went with the higher end uh, webcams that are out there right now that are kind of hard to find, as you may all know if you've been looking. And at the same time, it's a pretty good quality as long as you have it set properly and you have it positioned properly with how you want to be viewed on your computer, I think this is a great alternative. So hopefully you agree. If you got something out of this video and it helps you in any way, please do me a favor and consider subscribing to my channel. You'll see my head pop up in a moment. Click on it, follow along and subscribe. That'll really help this channel grow and I can produce better quality videos for you going forward. Well, until the next time, take care and thanks so much for watching.